Welcome back. I know you've been anticipating this video. In my last video, I color removed my box dyed black hair and ended up with this gorgeous color. It is atrocious. It is very chicken-like, extremely patchy. So obviously I need to color it. And in my last video, I left you with three different color options that I told you that I might try. A beautiful coppery color, a beautiful red light color, or a very ash tone color pattern. Started out so small. I've thought about it, and here are my opening arguments. Copper is our most likely contender. That is because my hair is currently already on the yellow-orange tone, and so adding something like this onto it will mean that the end color will be the most even, because we're using the pre-existent pigment already on our hair to further add on to the color we're going for. However, it is boring. I did this a lot of times. Copper is like a three out of five stars at the moment. Ash is super exciting. It is something that I don't do that often because I made an entire video of why ash colors are ugh. And I've personally never tried these two colors on myself. But, and everyone knows that going from very warm toned hair to ash toned hair is not a simple process. And unfortunately to get anywhere near these colors, I would need to bleach my hair a few more times. So unfortunately, because I'm not in the mood to to experiment all that much. I don't think I, I want that. That leaves me with pink, specifically this one right here. It's a very predictable thing. I've done this color so many times in my life. I love this color. I put this in my top five best hair colors to wear list and both burgundy and pink were on the list. So no matter if your hair is ash toned or warm toned, it has enough pigment to support itself on either warmth. The second thing is that if I do have more existing warm hair like I have here, it is just going to further contribute a very rich pink, very slightly turning into that red, but still very much a luscious, gorgeous color. The final thing is that this literally shows you exactly how pink fades. We're going to be going in with this color. These are what happens if you dilute it. And we're going to try it, see what happens. Okay, let's go. Never mind, I literally just found out I'm completely out of this color. I did not plan for this video at all. I was going to go for a nice copper color and then I was like, what about pink? <laughs> what about this one? Could be fun, could be fun, a bit dark. How ballsy do I feel? Um, do I have it? Give me a sec, let me see. I have it, I have it. I also have this one under it. It would be such a sensible option. I tried this color three years ago last, right? And each time it just turned my hair blue. And I found out that it is because you're meant to apply it on a blonde or yellow base. The blue in this mixed with the yellow of the hair turns it emerald. Should I? What if I mix them both? What if I put this color on my roots and get a really nice emerald color at the root and then I put this color at the end so that it looks like a peacock. I swear I haven't been this excited in a very long time. Oh my god. People ask me how I come up with ideas for my YouTube videos like this. Green bowl for the emerald, pink bowl for the purple. Comment down below if you've been here since my emerald journey. I had this one obsession once in 2019 where I was obsessed with this brand new color that I seemingly never saw before called emerald green and I was determined to try it and so the first two times that I tried it I tried it with this and both times my hair turned so vividly blue until one day I applied it on my natural regrowth which is like a dark blonde gold and it turned beautifully emerald 10 volume on our roots because we're not lifting anything we're just depositing because it's a very light color emerald because this is obviously a very weird base i really don't feel like putting emerald on it so we're going in with this one this p869 which is a gorgeous magenta color that i've personally never used i'm using all schwartz coffee gora and they come in these gorgeous pink for my ends, maybe 25 And I am going to be doing it with 20 volume developer just so I get as much lift as I could out of it because there is such a discrepancy between my ends and my roots. Magenta shade, next. Look how pretty it is when it's not yet oxidized. 
See, it is completely blue. If anything, it takes on a very purple shade. When did I get it on my cheek? So far it's not giving them real is it? Oh well. So far, it's giving neither emerald nor magenta, but it is no longer giving chicken orange. I'm gonna let it sit for 30 minutes. It's nine at night and we're tired. Oh no, I stained my nails. I can't do that. I'm shooting my launch campaign next week with my nail. I got them done specifically for it. Here, I'll give you a hint as to what the brand colors are. In the meantime, you can try to guess what I'm launching. Well, I'm gonna eat some chicken wings now and see if I can get the remaining stains off. This video was confusing. Initially, I didn't know what I wanted to do. Then I found what I wanted to do. Then I realized that I didn't have the dye to get the result that I wanted to do. So then I instead went on a completely different journey and I went for something that I thought was going to be insane only to find out that we still ended up with a completely different look altogether going through five different color options. What is this? <laughs> Well, it's not chicken orange anymore. Also, definitely not emerald. It's also barely magenta. It also looks so similar to my black hair that I had before. Is it a letdown? No, I have a fun color in my hair again. Look, it's blue. <gasps> what? If my hair was long right now, this would be... Oh, 
this would be such a look i had hopes once again for this stupid dye expectation through the roof once again disappointed me because it's blue it's not emerald i can't even title this video emerald that being said i really like it <laughs> there is a beautiful discrepancy between my root color and the end color there is blue and then there is purple that's not magenta but it's purple and it's there i'm still much happier with it now than i was before i'm not complaining it's cool i still like it and it turns out we're sticking with the dark for a while longer it's it seems counterintuitive because I just color removed my black hair, but we're sticking to it. All of the colors are going to be listed down below, every single one that I mentioned, to although again, they're slightly disappointment colors. This one in particular. I got my I got my hopes up. I got them up and now they're down. I am though happy to feel that my hair is still feeling amazing, so we can always try this again another time. Okay, fantastic guys. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, join the Stellar Fam, let's learn a thing or two together and let's continue to experiment because that is what this channel is. I am not giving you advice, I'm simply trying out ideas that either you give me or that I think of myself. In this case, something completely different happened. But it's fine. It's the whole point of this channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you'll give it a go. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, babies. I love you.